Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a cowboy breakfast stir fry. We went all out. We even got the cowboy hat. If you guys want to see how we make a fool of myself, here we go. <laughs> All right, to get started, we're gonna talk about the ingredients and how we got here. So a few people have actually reached out and said, hey, did you see Hussey's new video? It's called Cowboy Stir Fry. Uh, I can't remember the name. Went back and looked at it, and then he gave credit to CJ, and I'm like, geez, this, this recipe goes deep. CJ used chicken, Hussey used ribeye, and I'm like, man, like if you're asking me for my twist on it, what can I do with it? Like that, that's pretty good uh, recipes right there. So let's take the idea and switch it up. Let's take the idea and make a cowboy breakfast scramble, okay? You guys don't know uh sometime in my past i used to live in wyoming so the cowboy breakfast is true 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 sometimes that is the only meal of the day so let's get started love the idea of the smoked sausage check let me show you about these bad boys i don't know these are chuck <laughs> chuck eye steaks but what they look like is baby uh ribeyes and look at that fat marbling on there that's probably one of the nicest steaks i've ever seen in a grocery store 10 bucks for those two hmm all right, we got some pre-grated cheese that we used on another video. This is um, uh, cheddar jack and cheddar. Mushrooms, bell peppers, jalapenos, onions. We're going to do the baby potatoes. And that should be about it. I thought about using country ham because obviously country ham on the chuck wagon. Obviously, you can really add what you want, but I really thought this would pay homage to the idea. So hopefully this is my twist and you guys enjoy it. You guys ready? First thing first, I am going to actually parboil the potatoes just to speed up the process. Cover it up with water. Nice pinch of salt. While the potatoes are going, I'm gonna start prepping the vegetables. I'm just eyeballing the ingredients, no rhyme or reason. Try some new seasons out. This is about reloaded the blackout. It's got a little charcoal flavor in there. You guys know I love my charcoal flavor. Nice to switch up the seasonings every once in a while. God, what a good looking steak. Mm -hmm. Come back in here, hit this one with shake that, salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. So it's a little bit more neutral. All right, you can see they're pretty much fork tender, right on the verge of it. But you got smaller ones and big ones. The big ones were cut up a little bit smaller than the little ones, obviously. But I do want to get some surface area exposed because I think that's going to be some fantastic colorization and flavor. Is that a new word? I was just going to say, we need to look up and colorization. All right, for the griddle, uh, we're going to use some of that smoked tallow. I just kind of thought that going that cowboy theme, that they probably had a lot of more beef fat than they did um, oils or anything like that. So... Back rock on the Traeger for a few. Just a little oil down. I've had this side on the griddle on medium to get that temperature really up there. immediately smells fantastic <gasps> all that fat in those steaks you just smell it yeah mm. you gotta be careful with that dark one because it's already so dark in color all right just been moving these around a little bit i'm just trying to get some color oh there we go that's what i'm looking for right there so maybe just a hair longer since i watched both videos i couldn't tell i don't remember which one i think it was cj's that had a fantastic color on the bottom so it caught my eye, and I'm like, I want to do that. So here we are. There we go. There we go. All right, once they've been, Christmas. We got it coming from all sides today. Once they've been flipped over, just go ahead and season those. 
steaks. I'm going to check the temperature. Kind of keep it on that uh, medium rare to rare side. Look at that color. Look at that dang color. Mm. Yeah, if you haven't tried to shake that on steaks, it is really good. <laughs> It is. All right. So all that fawn left over with the mixing of the seasonings, exactly where my mushrooms are going to go. I always like to cook my mushrooms separate because all the moisture. That's going to be the vegetables. Get those going. Start adding that sausage. Get those going. I don't know why, but it's in my mind, sausage, peppers. Onions just go to well together, so that's why I'm doing it right here. That fat's going to uh, go down the griddle, which is going to help flavor those vegetables. veggies and these mushrooms just a little simple salt and pepper i don't want to over season it everything's been seasoned the whole way so you don't want to overdo it all right these steaks is cooled we're just going to cut them in bite-sized pieces this is the blackout remember this is going to go back on the griddle so if it's not done enough for you you need to gauge how long you cooked it on the griddle versus how long you put it back on there so if you like medium rare and you take it off at medium rare, you're going to have to do it fast. What a crust. I know. Those steaks. Mm. That's good. There might not be any steak left to go in here. I know. <laughs> that That's steak was amazing. We should have bought more. It goes back to what I've tried to preach for over three years. Sometimes let the grocery store speak to you. Just because something's on sale, just because you got your mindset on certain things, look what the grocery store offers and never know. You come across something like this, there's no way I'm gonna pass it up. <laughs> Those steaks are amazing. If you've never had Chuck Eye, Chuck Eye steak, you should try it. It is good. See the color on the, rib, on the uh, mushrooms I'm getting? Start combining everything together, start pulling down the griddle. So let's cool it down this way. Let's turn this one off. Ah, get out of it. <laughs> it's so good. Just working on cleaning as you go to get your griddle ready for those eggs. Boy, that just looks good just like that. It does. We're not even done with it. Boy, this would be a heck of like a campground breakfast. Feed a why lot of people. You, why do you think they did it? <laughs> Since we have so much tallow and oil on the griddle, I'm not going to use a lot of butter for the eggs. I'm just gauging temperatures. Looks pretty good to me. I'm going to let the eggs cook up just for a second before we start adding them. I don't want to add it completely runny. Make those eggs cheesy. Cause I'm sure they had a refrigerator on the stagecoach and cowboys. <laughs> to 
probably use about 18 more eggs. <laughs> Look, either jalapeno, bell peppers, mushrooms, smoked sausage, ribeye steak, or chuckah steak. That look like A5 Wagyu. <laughs> it did. Potatoes. God, there we go. That is my version of what I call cowboy breakfast stir fries. So cheers to Hussy, cheers to CJ. Thanks guys for reaching out. Cowbell. Go. Yeah. To ring for dinner. Yeah. I see you found your hat though. It's my daughter. I know. <laughs> It does look a little feminine. <laughs> oh, we're wearing it. It's supportive today. She's going to get a kick out of it. She's a huge country music fan. All right, there you go. Like I said, about 35 more eggs. That'll do you. But that's the idea. I got my little hot sauce. We're going to try it out. All righty. So I don't even know how you dig in, dive in. Maybe the potatoes could have been a hair smaller. But honestly, nah. <laughs> Ironically, I'm more excited about the smoked sausage with the eggs. I don't know why. I just think it'll taste good. Mmm. 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 Now that. That is dang good. That could be my last meal of the day. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> that slaps. Uh-huh. Look at the bite right there. Mushroom, cheese, onion. Oh, we gotta find a ribeye. Mmm. Those potatoes are good. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Well, I will say this. I haven't tasted CJ's or Hussies, but I know one thing. If theirs is good as this, if theirs is as good as this, bravo Zulu to them. Mmm. Oh, Our TV changed on us. <laughs> we really need to fix that. No. That's super good. Am I crazy or the smoked sausage? I think everything in there is perfect. I think steak's good too. I think the smoked sausage adds a ton of flavor. If you haven't tried Chuck Eye steak, give it a try for a good budget <clears throat> steak. It's really good. Legitimately, that's the most well marbled piece of steak that I think I've found, period. Especially just coming from the grocery store for choice. Um, anyways. If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook. You can also find us on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Well, that's going to be a big belly. <laughs> that is, that's super, super good. Mm, that's really hard are, to stop eating. The eggs are cooked perfectly, too. They're staying moist because all I know. steam and... Yeah. Mm.